Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. This time we have King of the Lizards, uh, Bosk. I was trying to think of more like titles, but uh, yeah, that's all I've got. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of Bosk, you know, I never had this one as a kid. Just gonna move that stand over there. Never had Bosk as a kid, yet looking at him on the back of the packaging was always just always wanted him always had him in my sights um we just really really liked the look of this guy it's a lizard in a space suit i mean come on what's not to love um there's been some absolute cracking boss field over the years the six inch black series the uh one that's technically in the vintage collection but it hasn't actually been released under the vintage collection banner it was a vintage original trilogy collection or vintage saga collection. I can't remember which one, but uh, that got a release in the Saga Legends back in 2010. Um, I don't think it's been released since, but it's, uh, it's an absolute cracking figure. And uh, let's wait here if I can zoom up on the Clone Wars one. Let's see him there with Boba. That's a great Bosk figure. But we are here because. We had to live through the 90s. <laughs> no, I, I, I enjoy the 90s. I enjoy Bosk. Look at his gun. You know, it's a very much a sort of stylized version of his, his Relby. I can't remember. Relby 30 or something like that. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit stylized sort of version of it for this figure. You know, they had a little bit of a creative license, let's call it that, back in the 90s with, uh, with their Star Wars weapons. Um, but yeah, we'll get a look at the figure because I, I, this one still holds up pretty well despite it lacking articulation. I think, you know, the scales are right. No pun intended. Scales. Uh, <laughs> that was terrible. Um, proportions are fine. You know, he's a, he's a little bit like wide action stance there, I suppose, a little bit, but otherwise. He measures up okay. Yeah, I still want to know if Trandoshans lose their limbs, do they grow back? I know there is a character, a Jedi called Skier, Skier, in uh, the High Republic era, but uh, I haven't read his stories yet, so I'm not sure whether he does grow his arm back. I literally just got the book today. Um, which will tell me, which will give me those answers. But if you uh, comment below before I get to read it, you will have informed me and I will have learned. But yeah, I'm, I like Bosk. I like the yellow space suit. I always wonder that little, little patches there on his shoulder. Is that there as well? Bosk. Oh, seriously, that's a pretty decent sculpt for the time. I think it holds up. Pew pew! The sculpting on the arms there looks good. If I do that, is that rude? Is that Bosk flipping flipping you off? If so, I'm sorry. Didn't mean it. So we have his claw on the back. Yeah, I like Bosk a lot. I hope he shows up in Book of Boba Fett. We've already seen some Trandoshans in the trailer at our Boba's dinner. <laughs> so, I'll be interested to see where the Bosk shows up. I think it would be really cool to bring him in. You know, um, yeah, I'd be all for that. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate you all tuning in for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. 
I will be back next week with the uh, rounding out of the, uh, the bounty hunters. I think you can all guess which one's coming up. <laughs> we have five down out of the six. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that one next week. So thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. You're all awesome. And because you're awesome, you will hit the uh, like button on this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. That's how awesome you are. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next week, may the force be with you always.